we're the way forward. Great. Hello, everyone. My name is A Mystery from Atlas Corporation. This is our first uh, news outlet, so I'm going to go ahead and talk to you about a few of the things from uh, UE that we've recently had, as well as just recent stuff. Um, firstly, what I want to talk about is the uh, UE situation. Uh, many of us know Rosmos and Abdul and Awesome, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, those people. Um, and recently, uh, this past week, um, they said that um, they were going to attempt to uh, destroy us. They were going on the offensive after so long of being abused, as we all know. Um, but I do want to say that Atlas uh, has been working uh, valiantly and coordinatedly with IDO forces to ensure the safety of the community and the people within the clans. We have attacked Site 17 as well as Rec Military and GE. GE was actually able to stand against us, but Rec Military we took over 12 instances, um, and, and Site 17 we took over uh, three. Uh, and the Site 17 we took over hostages and were able to convert people. And same thing with the Rec Military one. Uh, we have those videos posted. I'll put the links down in the description for you um, and stuff like that, so that way you can go check those out separately. Um, but the main issue comes down to Roz's pedophilia. Now, this all started when back in March 2023 when a girl named Cube, who was 13 at the time, texted Roz, who was 17. Um, actually, reverse that. Roz texted uh, her when, when that was going on. Uh, she proceeded to say that, uh, you know I'm 13, right? Which I'll put the image somewhere, uh, post edit. Um, but he essentially went along with it, and we have the videos of him talking about the condoms and stuff like that. He gave me condoms. Why? Because she said that just in case. We have the old pictures of stuff on Rec Room, more on the adult tree side, um, and such like that from his past and recent history. Um, the main issue really just lies in that these people are, while most of the UE is good, uh, there's a lot of it that don't understand that this is true evidence that we are showing. This isn't fabricated. This is nothing like that. I would never fabricate a lie um, just to get a huge mass majority um, to come follow me. I don't care. If I'm in the wrong, I'll accept I'm in the wrong. But I know I'm in the right. I've been attacked by UE, and I know many other people that have been attacked by UE. And it is a tragedy that this past week they attacked IDO forces and tried to nuke six discords in one day. It's succeeding in one and failing in the other five. So it really is a tragedy that this has to go on. But it seems that there has to be a call for this. I wish that Roz would come to the negotiation table and talk things out, but it doesn't seem quite likely. So we're going to keep it in for the long run and see where things go. That's our best bet. Moving away from the UE stuff, now we're going to be talking about Atlas's future and such like that. Currently, we have 21 clans at the time of this news, which will probably grow in the coming future, um, as this is just the first video. Um, and we have almost 280 members um, within the span of me coming back on October 18th. Beautiful. Um, I, was here, I wasn't here for a long while, but now that I'm back, I'm happy and proud to say that we're doing great things. We're working on getting a Minister of Defense. We have also have many weapons um, that we, we have, and I'll probably give like a small showcase or something post-edit. Um, but we're just doing amazing things overall in general. So if you own a clan, I would say come to Atlas for safety, as well as to push back UE forces that are trying to oppress the people and show the true light, because we are the way forward. Finally, what I want to touch on is the issues when it comes to nuking. Atl Atlas policies state that anyone that nukes anybody is immediately a war criminal. The same thing with exploiting and hacking without justification. I believe these follow suit with all the values of anyone else. So very shortly I will be instituting a Geneva Convention where we will put that in and it will be put into play. I have also enacted Law Greater Destiny. What this states is, is that UE members all UE members are not to be trusted until they can be told the full story and possibly converted. 
this means you should not have anyone in UE in your government because they will likely attack you. If you get a call from someone in UE, whether it be on DMs, whether it be on call, whatever, and they offer you something for your participation to ruin someone else's work, do not do it. It is a lie that they are fabricating to you. And I can tell you this because they've been doing it for years. I used to be good allies with UE, and they turned their back on me. Now, people are turning their back on the people that are innocent that are getting attacked. My only question to you is, are you going to turn your back on the future? That's all I have to say. We're the way forward. Have a good day.